Hello YouTube, I was uh, again inspired by some other people's video and based on the video I try to make this uh, and I'm trying to show how I did it and let's go uh, open up VS Code and put that on side that was my demo component now I'm gonna bring in the empty component the scratch so there's nothing here that's my redo component first of all I'm gonna start with uh, the component uh, which is uh, JavaScript so let's declare variables um, if you so we had a text right so let's say i'm gonna say the web come to hello town i'm just gonna name it like that i'm gonna split and turn into an array because uh ng4 doesn't accept uh uh, little uh, little strings, so I have to convert it to array. Next, uh, it has a. We're gonna create the each side create a little uh, rectangles, and so we need the width and height. So. Uh, the unit will be the RAM, so it's gonna be three, three RAM. If I say just three, so that's with. Font size. The font size will be uh, with times point seven. We don't need times. Next, right. so that's number of uh, that's number of uh, tires we need. We wanna connect each tire and make it look like a cylinder. And so how when we connect each tire, we wanna translate that in a specific direction, and the angle will tell tell will be our direction. And so each tire will have that is the uh, angle the uh, 360 divided by these tiles will give us the uh, angle for each tile mm -hmm. the radius is uh, the radius of uh, the, the ring and this width times uh, get away times this times two less pi because uh, this is uh, so the diameter is a uh, equation for diameter is uh, two times pi times radius. So the width times tiles will be our diameter. So we divided that by two. Uh, for the, in this case, I just did multiplied by 0.5. But if I set it to 0.5, there was a little like a little gap between tires, so I had to adjust um, numbers a little bit high and low, and that was the uh, most uh, accurate number. That was the number I was satisfied. And in the end, I divided by pi, and that's gonna give us radius. That is, and we gonna need a tile start. Get tile start. We need a tile start. This ram is this. RAM is hot size. So that is uh, for 
error minimum we're gonna come back to component and add some uh, angular animation until then let's move on to html and before we do that save it nothing changes so, so, so. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna name it cylinder. Just a uh, ring and cylinder, or however you want. Um, and have a spawn. What do I have? So, cylinder tile. That's called like a tessellation or something like that. But I'm just gonna name a body type. An ng style. Bring in ng style. Get style style. And then uh, ng4. Right? Char or text index as i. Then what's that gonna do? And char if that is empty. We are going to uh, preserve the white space. If not, just go char. Save it and we see okay text. And again we're gonna come back to HTML uh, in order to um, add the animation until then let's move on to uh, CSS part I mean it says as CSS so we're gonna have a list and math and for math um, we're gonna need a random so I just uh, prepared to some random how to get random numbers that's one of a random. I probably could do this in JavaScript part. If I redo it, I would do this in a JavaScript. But it's been done this way, so let's stick with it. Uh, display, 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 center. I want a center text. I center. Item center background color zero zero that's gonna be our black perspective. So I wanna have some if for some perspective feeling there. There's not much difference, but if I put perspective, there is a if I look too close to um, cylinder, there I see a. Uh, lines between uh, tiles so if i put perspective those lines go away so i put it there and cylinder so for cylinder color will be two six two, two. and the green color and position relative relative and transform style and preserve 3d if you don't preserve 3d it does not inherit to child element so every if you use using transform and multiple element together uh, preserve it. preserve it. Next will be background color uh, display in nine block. Uh, so unless if you don't change it in nine block, uh, transform does not work. Absolute uh, left zero. Something's not right. That is 
I was supposed to put two underscore. Now it's this there. Something's not right on there. Oh, and also hide. Was it? What is it now? So the text should be centered, but it's not centered. What's wrong? This is an absolute cylinder. I actually have to look into it. It's funny how I'm just to. Uh, Retyping everything I did, and what is this? Oh, wait, what is this? Uh... Oh, that's why there was supposed to be. Hold on. There you go, there you go, there you go. All right, and now uh, we want to put some so now texture centered and the lay the position looks right. And we are going to um, let's say uh, add some shadows Boulder side. First, we're gonna set uh, put some border. Border top. So. Over to brown, pretty much the same. Yes, shadows. And we wanna uh, throw some text to shadow. That's gonna be negative thousand to positive thousand yes and and that's the y axis that's x axis and y axis and we will have to blur that text that's going to be positive one to ten random number and it's going to be uh, kind of grayish. The, the, the. Text, text shadows, base append, append that. that. 
operator comma comma not comma let's compare comma there I'm missing comma and in the end text shadow text shadows all right there is a border and text this there and we're just not seeing it who well, actually are we actually is the shadow is shadow is it actually there uh wait shadow is not broken it's oh man It's uh, actually there, right there. That's shadow. There are some too. All right then. So before, so we wanna do the animation to create animation TS animation TS. Animation. And we will have to import some stuff. Trigger style. We don't need a trigger for this. Are you doing a trigger? Yeah, we need a trigger. Trigger style. Animate. Transition. Key frames. And state. From. Angular animations. So let's serve uh, away some uh, animation. So export. Honest. Do I really export it? I don't think I export it. So let's say translate transition. Cool. And for two seconds is I want to key frames. Transform Face Translate Z The Z is like a radius uh, being small and big There's that Two fifty and one fifty. Three fifty seven hundred. Oh, we will double the number and like a two fifty back to small. You know, this number just to try and look and add the steps. Yeah, if you want to improve the quality, put more time. You put more time and you will know that you get better. So, both columns, columns, space, default, export, cost, aim, translate, animation. Anyway, trigger. Trigger. Anyway. So we're gonna have a state. That state is gonna call this. Start the state. Time. 
to components and pass these values so that's that and don't forget the default value which gonna yell at you like a spamming errors the end stage same same, same as the start stage and transition To start, start, just repeat and transition, oops, translate, translate transition, why are we getting air? Oh my expected. So that's our animation. And go to component animations animate trigger. We have to import that. Import. Is oh, what's going on? Why single code? Okay, go back to component. We are back to component now. We are going to write some power animate state that's gonna be our initial state. Get animate. Columns. That's why we are index. Um, value this new state. So then, 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 base and base is to translate. Uh, fifty. Really fifty. That's gonna center that to the top left. So that's gonna center it a bit. Rotate uh, in y, y axis. So how much you rotate? That's gonna be i times this angle, and the uh, width is degree. And close the sidebar. That's gonna be our base. And default is uh, the radius. I probably should name it radius. Default radius, something better. Uh, that's that. Translate Z this uh, radius and unit is RAM. Comma. And animate done. This is uh, when animation is done, we will not repeat. So, show events. Import type Zoo animation event for angular animations. Bam, bam, bam. And if this is a uh, make sure you whether it's not it disabled or not, because when you trigger it, when it's disabled, uh, you get error. That was my case. Animate state e to state and if it's end, you just change the state to start. If it's end, if it's not end, set it to um this uh that step. So we want to go back to HTML. Dun dun dun, I'm gonna 
add the animation add animate get any params pass i and the events done when that's done and event done there you go and save is working oops it's working but it's not repeating oh that is uh, because uh, animate it when it that's disabled not disabled so it's like it's getting really small so next what we're going to do let's tilt it a little bit okay let's uh add some extra stuff there um so those are, it's gonna be another animation on cylinder now that's animating the tire we need any image so keyframes animate cylinder Done. so that's going to be like a zero plus four um, da, da, da. Uh, okay find zero degree and rotate x 15 rotate z that is gonna be when it's zero and it's a hundred just uh, rotate right direction that much and now we have to apply that to cylinder which is right here one eight seconds and fine So let's see how oh, it's so is it like that? Look at that. Alright, um that's it. Uh thank you for watching.